Hello all, welcome to Binary Programming. In this video, we will solve the second challenge of Record Trigger Flows module. The name of the challenge is Build a Record Trigger Flow. Let's move to the challenge. So in this challenge, we need to create a Record Trigger Flow. So these are the steps which are given to us. We need to create a Record Trigger Flow. Then we need to add an action to our flow and perform these operations which is given to us. And finally, we need to save the flow with the label and the API name given to us here. So let's move to the org and complete this challenge. So in the org, we are going to the home and searching for the flows in the quick search. So here it is under the process automation, we are going to click on flow and here we are going to click on the new flow. This will open a flow builder window for us. Now we have some options to select that which kind of flow we need to create. So it is given to us in this challenge that we need to create a record trigger flow. So we are going to select the record trigger flow options here and click on create. So this will open a window for us to configure the start of this flow. So the object name on which the record trigger flow needs to be created is the opportunity. So let's search for the opportunity object here. Here it is. Now we need to configure the flow that at what time we need to run the trigger flow. So we need to run when the record is created or updated. So third option is there a record is created or updated. If we go down there are some conditions here and we need to select all the conditions are met and these are the two conditions given to us that is the stage name should be negotiation review and amount should be greater than 1 lakh. So here we are going to select all the conditions are met and in the field we are going to search for the stage name. Here it is, it should be equals to negotiation review. So the operator we are going to select is equals and here we are going to select the negotiation review. Another condition given to us is the amount should be greater than 1 lakh. So in the field we are going to search for the amount. Here it is and the operator this time we are going to select is the greater than and the value which is given to us is 1 lakh. So here it is. We have put the two conditions here. Now we need to select the option. The trigger flow should be done only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirements. So it should run only when a record is updated to meet the conditional requirements. And we are going to select the action and related records here to update the flow anytime. We are going to click on done as the steps here are completed. Now in the second step, we need to add an action to your flow. The element should be the created records. So to add an action, we are going to click on this plus icon. And here we are going to select the action as create records. This will open a new window for us. So it is asking for the label. So the label is given to us. That is create email task. Let's copy from here and paste it here. This will generate the API name as well for us. Now. We are going to copy the description here and we'll paste it here in the description text box. Now the next option is how many records to create. So this should create only one record and one is already selected here. Now we need to set the record fields. So in this we need to choose the option that allows us to reference records other than the triggered flow. So here we are going to use the option as use separate sources and literal values. Now we need to select the object as task and these are the field values which is given to us. So the object we are going to select here is the task. Here it is. And after selecting the object, we need to fill up the values of this task. So the value of the subject should be follow up with the account owner by email. So here we are going to search for the field called subject. Here it is. And the value should be this thing. We need to enter another field. So the another field name is the activity date. And in this we need to enter the today's date. So in this field we are going to search for the activity date. Here it is. And the today's date which we are going to put in the format of MDYY. So the month should be April that is 4th. And the date should be 22nd and 2022. Another field which we need to add here is the owner ID. So it should be the owner ID of the record. So here we are first searching for the owner ID. Here it is. 
and the value of this should be the owner id of the record so first we are going to select the record and from here we are going to select the owner id so the owner id of this should be here the last field which we need to add is the what id and it should be account id of the record so at first we are going to search for the what id here it is and this should be the account id of the record so first we are going to search for the record and then we are going to search for the account id so here it is so the, all the fields we have added here now we are going to save the flow and these are the flows label and the api name given to us we are going to click on done and we are going to click on save the label is given to us that is review opportunity with the account owner let's copy from here and paste it here this will generate the api name of the flow and finally we are going to copy the description and we are going to paste it in the description text box finally we are going to click on save so this is saved now we have completed this challenge all these steps which are mentioned in this challenge we have performed and created the flow out of it let's check whether we have done it correct or not by clicking on check challenge to earn 500 points so yes we have completed this challenge and got 500 points for this see you guys in the next video with a new challenge thank you